Capricorn, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. You know, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what the remaining of 2023 has in store for you. Messages coming in for Capricorn, October, November, December. Capricorn, what is coming in here for you? What you need to know. Now, there's, oh, hold on, Capricorn. there's something that I would strongly encourage you to do. If you don't already know, make sure you thumbs up this video because it actually saves in your YouTube history and you can come back and see how some of these messages will play out and how they played out. Because at the time, you may not understand what the message means or how uh, it could happen, uh, or you may forget. So by thumbs upping this video, it will save in your history and you can come back and let us know all the things that have occurred. A lot of, I, I get a lot of comments from my three month energy readings because a lot of people will come back by the third month and say, oh my gosh, this was so accurate. This was so on point. So I love that to happen for, um, for a lot of you. Now let's go ahead and open up here. Oh, excuse my dog. She's probably barking at the, the cat <laughs> that's running by. Uh, we have this energy of solitude coming in here, Capricorn. Solitude. All right. And then we also have the energy of meander or meandering. We have the new moon and Scorpio energy coming through with working through your fears. And hold on. You know what? Hold on. Hold on, Capricorn. Let me grab my little puppy and bring her in here. Okay, she's here with us. So let me go ahead and start with your tarot messages. Let's see, Capricorn, Capricorn. You know, with this dog energy, don't be surprised if some of you, I I'm feeling like you may be taking on a pet in these next three months, okay? I feel like my little puppy, she's a sign as well. You guys may be taking on, bringing, it doesn't necessarily have to be a dog or a puppy, but it could be just any pet that you find yourself attached to. In, uh, or you may be also gifted. Someone may be gifting you uh, a new pet here. Solitude. Especially if some of you are going through this state of ooh, being alone or finding yourself alone. You know what's crazy? There have been at least four signs that have been received, like getting the hermit card and the energy of solitude. I... <sighs> Not to say a lot of you are alone here, Capricorn, but I feel like there's a, a collective group. There's a large amount of you where you may be finding yourself in your solo season, whether you are finding yourself being single, whether you find yourself enjoying your alone time, your introvertedness, uh, just doing things by yourself, your hobbies, shopping, spending alone time by yourself instead of going out. Uh, some of you may also find yourself being alone not by choice. There's also deep healing and soul searching happening. Hmm. This first message, as I look at the focal energy of solitude, it's combined with temperance and the nine of pentacles. I see here that, ooh, um, there's something here that you're going to accomplish, but it's going to be through your own efforts alone. Someone may try to take credit, but people are going to know it was like due to your, it's like due to your success. Perhaps you were doing a project on your own or you ended up having to do a certain task by yourself. You had to do a certain project without the help of others. It could even be in your life path. You moved somewhere on your own. You started a book on your own, a business on your own. Um, there may have been intentions of joining people or you connecting with someone or partnering up, but through some events playing out in the end, I do see a group of you in the end, it's, it's going to be all thanks to you. All right. Ultimately Capricorn, it's going to be all thanks to you. You are creating 
your own happiness, your own success, the riches in your life. And no one can say that you got it from someone else. Like, oh, you know, this success is based off of your efforts, your path, your creativity, your vision. Now, this is a tough pill to swallow, but also I see here that if you want your dreams or if you're chasing something that you desire, you're going to realize that no one's going to want it as bad as you. And they say the road to happiness and success is a lonely one. I do see that playing out here for a lot of you. You're, there is something that you know you truly want for yourself okay you see yourself living or experiencing something much richer in your life path whether you desire to have a particular career you desire to live in a particular area uh you desire to you know create this brand or reputation for yourself or invest and settle down whatever it is the nine of pentacles is where you envision yourself being in the highest abundance okay where you don't have to struggle or you're not suffering as much or you know like you just don't have a care in the world metaphorically speaking the nine of pentacles is almost like the empress energy almost just without the title richness in love friendships resources you know being able to pay bills <laughs> Being able to have a nice meal, multiple meals, right? Abundance, everyone's ver version of abundance is different. So however you find your life in abundance, having free time, having time to enjoy the weekends, right? We see it's going to be through you getting yourself there. You got you. You got yourself there. You're going to get yourself there. Hmm. Now, there's a situation as well where something that has to do with your past, Capricorn, you're going to pursue it or go after it, okay? There's something here where you're going to look back at something and go after that vision whether in the past you used to love animals and now you're making the connection to start your own animal sanctuary or adoption center in the past you love to create now you're starting your own you know website with your de design uh services you used to love cooking so your dream is to have your own cooking show or your own cookbook but again it's something that you're doing on your own you may be trying to drag someone in it or try to gain their enthusiasm like get your partner like hey or your friend or your best friend your family but again they they're not on this path their their path is different and you're going to quickly find out that this is something that you need to do on your own especially if you want to get to the you know the furthest state I do see though you will be receiving help. So just because your journey is going to be alone, that's not to say you're not going to get help and guidance throughout the journey. It reminds me of a marathon or traveling. You may be traveling alone, but you can still stop at restaurants and pit stops and make small talk, have a conversation, hang out with someone for the day and move on, right? At the marathon, you're running by yourself, but there are people that are handing out water and uh, you know, like towels and snacks at the pit stop. So I do see you getting help. Universe is going to send help in some way or confirmation that's going to keep your momentum on this journey. Wow, what an interesting, powerful reading. Meandering. Hmm. Again, going back to soul searching, Capricorn, there's something here where you're going to realize that the path you are going to want to follow your true north star. You're going to separate from a path that may have been destructive or may have not been your own. 
You are just following along. You are going through the motion. You are in someone else's dream. You are not the main character. You are the supporting. Okay, you are just like a non, you know, like the, what's it, like the NPC? Non-playing character, right? You were just in the background. But now you're like, nope, let me find the path where this is my path. Let me find where I, where I want to go, what I want to do, where I want to be, who I want to become. So a lot of deep soul searching I, I see happening here. Now, again, some of you may be watching this and like, okay, I don't see how that's how that's going to apply to my life today. I'm not soul searching. But again, life throws us curveballs all the time. So today you could be fine. Tomorrow, knock on wood, something could happen where you're just like, oh my goodness. I have to reconsider this path, right? Someone may have... Uh, left your life someone may have turned their back on you someone or something you realize is not paying its full value and you're you're losing you're not getting the most money you're not getting the most pay you're not getting the most you know value um and you're like you're splitting ways they're going in separate directions they're going their path you're going your path okay especially when i see the two of wands Career-wise or with your business, I do see a lot of you surpassing like your colleagues or your coworkers. There may be some energy of resentfulness or jealousy. Not all, but some of you may be experiencing because I also see the Five of Wands diagonal from this next to the Five of Pentacles. So there is someone, it could be a family member too. Not all again, but some of you may experience resentment. Like, oh, how, how did Capricorn make it this far? Oh, how, how did they get so much money or how are they able to move how, how are they able to like fall in love or how come their dreams are coming and aligning together there's some there's someone here that's just like uh they're almost like envious right like you're doing you're going to be doing better things for yourself and they are acknowledging that but they're also bitter and um disgruntled about it it's like they don't want to see you thrive and do better than them um, or like to get out or to leave. Uh, in these next three months too, there's some type of travel. Again, like solo travel is coming to mind. A lot of you are going to do some type of solo travel. Now, when I say solo travel, I don't, it could be like you are taking a trip and you're treating yourself, but it could also be something small where like you're, you're going to a job interview and they are flying you somewhere for the night, right? But you're going by yourself. That could be happening too. Or you are flying by yourself or driving by yourself to check out a property and your family is you know, staying behind. Or you are um, looking into a place to retire or settle down or where to start a business, but you're the one doing it. Like you're the one that got in the car and the vehicle on foot to, to do it. No one was really there to make that, that, that decision. So there's something here that you are going to be planning and preparing on your own using your judgment using your wisdom your experiences uh the knowledge that you have to make that decision okay because there's something here where it's like you can't rely on the other people or the other people uh that may be a part of the story don't really have any value or don't really maybe they don't have um they don't know okay they don't know so that king energy the king is there to lead the people the king is there to give, and the queen, they are there to give guidance to the people. So I do see in these next three months, Capricorn, something is going to be on you. Pressure, but no pressure, right? Like the decision's on you. You are the head of the household, or you are the head of the department. You are in charge of your life. Your kids are looking up to you. Like you are the high, like the highest um, in the situation where like ultimately your decision will affect other people, if not just you and your pet or just you, right? So it's ultimately up to you. Some of you too, this has to do with life changes. If you want to change your life, if you want to break free from bad habits or addictions or uh, limiting activities, it's going to be up to you to make that change. People can offer you their help People can offer you their feedback, their advice, but again, it starts with us. You have to want to see yourself moving forward and past. When we look at working through your fears, Capricorn, 
something about um don't like something like don't block love or don't block opportunities that are meant to find you don't block your own blessing okay and blockage looks like many things to different people some of you are blocking it through your um your beliefs some of you are blocking it through who you are connected to or who you engage with and sometimes who you surround yourself with they influence your next move right it could be your parents it could be colleagues it could be people at work your friends it's like oh you don't want to you don't want to meet that person you know like they, they don't make enough money or why would you want that job? They don't pay that well, right? There's something here like you don't want to start a business. It's hard nowadays. There's something here like don't let other people block you from something that you want to come into connection with. Working through your fears, okay? Getting through that obstacle. Pushing past the challenges. Sticking up for yourself. Giving yourself a fighting chance as well. I love how we have the magician and the sun. Powerful transformations coming in your life, Capricorn, but also major manifestations. Once you release the fear, another stage is going to unlock. It reminds me of cooking. If you are afraid to mix flour in water, okay, and heat it uh, on the stove with fire, then you're just going to be hungry, figuratively speaking. You're just, you're afraid. You're afraid to cook. But it's once you release that fear and you gain the courage and you're like, you know what? It may not taste good, but at least I tried. Let me try it. Something about using what you have and believing in your abilities. You have what you need to create what you need to create and to become who you need to become. You just need to step into that power. The magician believes in their power. That's the secret recipe too. Their faith, their belief. Because you could have something right in front of you, but if you don't believe in it, it's not going to happen, right? You can have love facing you in your face, but if you believe you're not worthy of love, or if you believe that they couldn't love someone like you, or if you have limiting beliefs like, oh, they're just going to cheat on me, or they're just, like, if, if there's something here where, like, if you already sabotage yourself, then you'll never know what unfolds. They'll never hire me. I shouldn't even apply. I don't have this. I don't have that. Maybe I shouldn't move. But step into this courage of faith. Like, oh, yeah, I know I'm good. I've done bigger things before. I know I'm worthy of love. Oh, I know I can do this job. I'm a fast learner. I'm a great multitasker. I'm a good organizer. I know I would be a great asset. I know I would be a good agent, coordinator, business owner artist right it's like i know what i have to offer people will love because once you allow yourself to believe in yourself that's when we see all the positive blessings coming in your life the sun will outshine the dark okay the dark thoughts the positivity will outshine the negativity so i'm excited here capricorn make sure you thumbs up this video so you can let us know how certain events have played out where you're going where you're moving who or what you have to disconnect from, what you're on the search for, what have you found yourself researching, searching, or doing on your own, but you end up being successful. Your abundance too. Where do you see yourself separating from certain things in your life in order for you to find abundance? Because I do, that's kind of like the main theme here. I see you being cut away from something that was holding you back where you were meant to kind of go on your own. What is your dream? What is your ideal situation that you'd like to have play out in the beginning of 2024 that you're moving towards in this end year of 2023? What blockage have you experienced that you know you need to work through? And what are you trying to produce that you are afraid of failing in? I'll see you in the next reading. Stay well and be blessed.